I didn't plan on running through my supplies so quickly. I'll have to get more before returning to the forest. Good morning, Miss Holiday. I hope I'm not bothering you. No, not at all. I was just on my way out. What brings you here? Well, I'm not supposed to be over here, but here you go. This is our report on the PAR incident. We never released those drawings, you know, for the family's sake. So if you could keep them under wraps. Thank you. This will help immensely. Sorry they aren't photos. Our department doesn't have a camera, so Sheriff Bowers makes me draw crime scenes. Don't apologize. These are very detailed. There's something else. I watched Parr sell again last night, and I found this. Still have no idea how he keeps getting the sticks to make them. He's no help either. Claims the witch put him there. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you, Charlie. Well, I'd better go. Sheriff's keeping a sharp eye on me. This information never made it to the newspapers, and I can see why. All of the victims had ritualistic markings on them. This stick man is similar to the shape in the Brody sketch, and the Givna Tawana as Gaia gave me. Have you been to the woods? Did you uh, find what you were looking for? Not yet. Might I send another telegram? Same place as before? Yes, please. Whenever you're ready. Big flashlight almost dead. Stop. Mild lead poisoning. Stop. No doctor in town. Stop. Send remedy quickly. Stop. Love, Elspeth. Stop. Hmm. You feeling poorly? We can go to the sheriff's and call a doctor for you. No, that won't be necessary. My sister can send along a homemade remedy from our mother. Hope you get to feeling better, Miss Holiday. How is the story progressing? Whoo, Nellie, even I don't believe it. Just have to start the presses, and then I'm off to the sheriffs with the evidence. Can you tell me? Oh, no, not so fast. You can read all about it in the morning edition. books on Native American folklore? Well, I'm afraid I don't have much written by Native Americans. There is this book, though. An explorer wrote it during the early 1700s. He had Native American guides, and he wrote a lot about their beliefs and customs. Here you go.
This book, The Ancient Evil of the New World, is supposedly non-fictional accounts of real-life legends from the Black Hills. I'll duplicate some of the more probable entries from the book into my field notes. They may prove to have no more substance than the rest. However, if some of these things are for real, I underestimated the magnitude of this mission. By the way, the Robin Weaver incident was mentioned in the book you loaned me. Since you were actually there, do you remember anything they might have missed? Well, there was one man that stands out in my mind. He came in right in the middle of everything. He had a massive wound on his head and claimed he had no memory. Robin Weaver's grandmother called him some biblical name. What was it? Oh, yes, Lazarus like the man that was raised from the dead. I talked to him briefly, uh, skeptical of his intentions, you know, but I doubt he had anything to do with Robin's disappearance. He was pretty keen on finding her. What happened to him? Uh, I'm not sure. Just sort of disappeared. <laughs> Maybe the witch got him. So what can I get for you today? Nothing right now, thank you. Hello? Anyone here? Hm, I guess not.
Where have you been? I thought it was burnt. Are you okay? Emily, you shouldn't talk to her. My mom says she's... No, wait! Hello? Hello? What's your name? Mary Brown. Shouldn't you be in school? Miss Ascot says home early today. She's not doing very well. Really? Why is that? She misses the other kids. Were they your friends? Not really. Just Kyle. But he's not the same anymore. Who were you talking to just now? Um, nobody. I was talking to myself. You look sad. I can't find Mr. Brownie. Mr. Brownie? He's been gone for a few days. What does he look like? He's brown. Uh, well, could you be more specific? Well, he's got soft fur. I'll keep an eye out for him. Bye now. How peculiar. I just met a local girl named Mary Brown. She was talking to someone, but there was no one else with her. She claimed she was talking to herself. But I swear she used the name Emily. Now, one of the girls that Ruston Park killed was named Emily Hollins. I should review the recording of her conversation just to be sure. Also, she seems to have lost some sort of pet, a uh, Mr. Brownie. If I find it, I'll be sure to return it. Stranger, where are you? I need you here. Stranger? That was my voice, but I've never said that. Upon analyzing the recording, I can definitely make out a voice that appears to be my own, in a great deal of fear. What's disconcerting is that I know I haven't said those words. Is this some sort of trick? Still, Mary. Where have you been? I thought it was burnt. Not if the sticks are laid right. Are you okay? She's coming with new sticks. She can free me. Emily, you shouldn't talk to her. My mom says she. Shh. No, wait. It's cold still, Mary. Where have you been? I. I thought it was burnt. Not if the sticks are laid right. Are you okay? She's coming with new sticks. She can free me. Emily, you shouldn't talk to her. My mom says she's... Shh, somebody's coming. I have to go. No, wait!
With the proper adjustments, the recording of Mary Brown clearly contains another girl's voice. I can only assume that Emily is a spiritual manifestation of Emily Hollins, Pa's first victim. There's no question that Mary Brown is very special. It's cold still, Mary. Where have you been? At his house. I thought it was burnt. Not if the sticks are laid right. Are you okay? She's coming with new sticks. She can bring it. Emily, you shouldn't talk to her. My mom says she's... Shh, the sun is coming. I have to go. No, wait! It's, it's cold, cold still, still, Mary. Where have you been? At his house. Where have you been? At his house. I thought it was burnt. Not, Not if the sticks are laid right. Are you okay? She's coming with new sticks. She can bring it. Emily, you shouldn't talk to her. My mom says she's... Shh, somebody's coming. I have to go. Did a parcel arrive for me? No, ma'am. Can't say that it has. Hope you get to feeling better, Miss Holiday. Justine! Hey, brought those remedies you needed. Why didn't Spookhouse just send a courier? <laughs> Can't have this stuff falling into enemy hands. Well, I'm happy to see you. Come on, it's the last room on the end. You did bring my ECRE pistol, didn't you? Right here. Had a chance to test the rifle yet? Oh, too many times, but it works quite well. I wasn't sure how badly you were needing it, so I brought two of your modified batteries to give your big gun some extra power. Fabulous. I underestimated this mission when I left. Thank you so much for coming, Justine. You need anything else? No, I have it under control. Thanks. If things get any worse, I'll call in the stranger. Now you better get going. I have a lot more work to do. Thanks again, Justine. I'm ready to go into the woods now. I'd better take my gear with me. I just got off the phone with the Sheriff of Martinsburg. An old chum of yours? He's never heard of you. Didn't you say you talked to him before coming here? No one's gone missing from Martinsburg since 34. Oh, you don't say. 
I'll have to tell that to my sister. Now, you haven't done anything illegal, as far as I can tell. But I got my eye on you. You step out of line, you're mine. You get me, little lady? Thank you, Sheriff. I appreciate your concern. Blast! The local sheriff knows my cover story is bogus. He could stir up some serious trouble if he wanted to. I should try to keep my distance. Did you hear? About what? I just got a phone call. The judge wasn't on vacation. He was murdered. And they found the body at the general store. Sheriff Bowers just arrested Daniel Cole. I'm heading over to find out more. Suzanne Askett just informed me that Rust and Pa's judge was murdered. Daniel Cole, the shopkeeper, has been arrested. I don't know if this has anything to do with Rust and Pa, but it's almost too great a coincidence to ignore. I get the feeling that something even larger is at work here. More of the devil's work. Oh, sometimes I feel like I'm losing the battle. Always thought he was a big bully. Can you believe it? This story just gets darker and darker. Oh, wrong, wrong. This wasn't supposed to happen. All could have been prevented. All my fault. What happened? We got worried when we still hadn't heard from the judge. We searched his place, and it was obvious he hadn't packed for a vacation. We found evidence pointing us here. The body was in Cole's storage room, stuffed in a sack of potatoes. What did Cole say? Says he didn't do it. Claims somebody else put the body in there. Do you believe him? I don't know. Right now, I'm just glad he's not telling me an old woman ghost made him do it. Sorry, Miss Holiday. Can't let you in. Sheriff's in there. I shouldn't draw my weapons in town.
it seems as though the shadow creatures i encountered the last time are nocturnal i hope i finish here before dusk Welcome back to my home. I can see you've learned more about the ways of the forest. I've come into possession of another Tawana. It was found in Rustin Pa's jail cell and it resembles a human form. What does it mean? What you have is a bundle of sticks. I, I thought I was on to something. Uh, you are. The figure needs magic. Give it to me. This forest is more than itself. You have learned much. Or things I am not allowed to tell you. But I can tell you the path you walk now is the right direction. All right. Tell me this. There's an area near Pa's house, a path with a large wooden structure over it that I couldn't see until you gave me the Givna. What was I seeing? In places throughout this forest, paths branch in directions that cannot be comprehended. Such a place exists near the site of that house. Control the path, Elspeth Holiday. Walk the path. You have the power now, but walk with caution. My ancestors have walked such paths in the past. Few have returned. Ah, delightful.
I've definitely triggered something. I've hung the Tawana over this path and I can see that the forest is different on the other side. I just did something very stupid. I let my curiosity get the better of me and I've gone through some sort of portal without knowing where it leads. It appears I'm still in the same forest, but something feels... wrong? This place is not natural. I hope I can find a way back. There's no telling what paths the Tawana are capable of opening. Oh, I'm still in this odd forest. I thought I'd be able to get back out of here just by passing through the portal. Oh, good lord, am I trapped here? out of the ordinary here, just the same oppressive feeling, like the calm before a storm. house, but that's impossible. It was burned to the ground. Another page from Pa's journal. Another page from Pa's journal. What are these strange symbols covering the walls? Drawing on east wall of Pa's house. I think this is supposed to be coffin rock, like the illustrations in the book from the library. But there's only a single boy sacrificed. Is that just a stain on the wall or some sort of shadowy figure looming over the boy? And there are also more of those symbols. 
There are odd shapes on Pa's west wall. There's a cluster of circles with symbols above them. Something, as Gaia said, keeps coming back to me. He suggested that the paths of this forest shift or connect in different ways. This illustration reminds me of a map. Could there be even more paths? And how many? Could this Tawana send me to the real world? I don't have too many options, and right now, more than anything in the world, I want out of here. I'll use this Tawana and hope it takes me where I want to go. Batteries are gone. Without batteries, the ECRE is useless, and it was the only thing that affected the shadow creatures. I just saw Kyle Brody. He was in the basement of Rust and Pa's house and appeared to be communicating with one of the ghosts. Did he follow me through the portal I created? Why would he return to this scene? His mind must be very disturbed. He fled the instant he saw me. Kyle dropped something as he ran away. It looks like the other half of the drawing I got from his teacher. This side is a crude illustration of a girl laid out on a rock. Like a sacrifice. It's reminiscent of depictions of the Cotton Rock Massacre. Who's the girl supposed to be? I should check out Cotton Rock as soon as I leave here. after I saw him at Pa's. Why did he bring it out here? And why is the stuffing all torn out?
the new Tawana is in place. The other side looks like it did before I enter the portal. Let's hope this returns me to the world I know. Oh, thank God, the real world. don't have time to waste.
At last. Well met. We haven't much time in this place now that the Jeanne's hearts are completely destroyed. And you are... You may call me Jonathan Pry. The witch hunter from 1786? I've never heard myself referred to in such a way. You were here when Ellie Kedward was banished, right? Why do you refer to me in the past tense? You lived in the past. Well, my past, anyway. I understand. Yes. Well, how fortunate that we should meet like this. Tell me. Will I defeat the witch? Not entirely, I'm afraid. It seems the witch is still at large. Alas! Are all my efforts for naught? As far as I know, the witch was inactive in this region for over 50 years after you encountered her. Perhaps I will get defeat the witch. I believe I know the witch's true name and the name of her home. If I knew how to use that information, I might be able to defeat her. There is great power in names. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. I'm afraid our time won't last much longer. As much I wish I could tell you. Perhaps I still can. When I've finished my work here, I will leave my journal in caves near Coffin Rock. Are you familiar with that area? I didn't know there were caves. That's because I intend to see them when I'm done. Look hard when you're there again. You'll find my journal inside one of the caves. Use the information well. It's all I can do to help. I'll find it. Thank you. Good luck, Hunter. Fight the same way. I just spoke with a man who's been dead for over a hundred years. The witch hunter who roamed these hills in the time of Ellie Kedward appeared to me. He promised to leave his journal for me hidden in the caves beneath Coffin Rock. I'll have to go there and... Hello? Who is that? Oh, my batteries. I can finally use my light guns again. And that white owl is back. Welcome back. What have you learned since last we spoke? This forest is much more than it seems. Indeed. If you know how to work its magic, you have seen few of its many paths. I met a man who wandered these woods over a hundred years ago. I believe I was taken back in time, or he was brought forward. Hmm, a convergence. When the path bends right, 
You can see this forest as it is in the past, or as it will be in the future. There is no time when on these paths, only place. They are present, past, and future all at once. The man I spoke to claimed to be hunting the Blair Witch. I assume he never found her. Oh, he may have killed a witch, but the powers in this forest are far greater. Are you saying there's more than one witch, or that the witch isn't human? Neither assumption is incorrect. You have found a witch yourself. The only person I've seen in these woods is Kyle Brody. Ah, oh, now I saw him at Ruston Pa's house. You're telling me that that ten-year-old boy is a witch? The boy is merely a vessel, an innocent victim transformed into a cunning tool of Hecidomix. Hecidomix? Your people give names to things beyond your comprehension. My people do the same. The darkness that inhabits this place was here long before man came into this world. It is known to my people as Hecidomix. If you wish to stop Hecidomix, you must remove it from the boy. I am the last one alive who knows how to repel Hecidomix from a human host. Using this Twana, you can drive Hecidomix from the boy. Simply touch the boy with this, and Hecidomix will be torn from his body. But once it's free of the child, that power will return to the forest. Those who have attempted to hunt Hecidomix in its true form have all perished. It must be vulnerable to something. The origin of Twana is unknown. Though legends speak of an ancient tribe that learned to duplicate the magic Hecidomix uses to move through the worlds, the Twana allows us to open countless paths. I have found the names for some of them. A path exists that will take Hecidomix into a realm from which even he cannot escape. So all I have to do is make another Tawana to banish Hecitomix. If it were that simple, my people would have done so long ago. I have never learned the name of the path that will banish Hecitomix. My elders spoke of Hecitomix source, a path so dark and twisted that it took Hecitomix a thousand years to emerge. If you could send the demon back to that place, it would be powerless for the next thousand years. That birthplace is a true name, one that Hecidomix has kept very secret. The witch hunter I encountered in the woods said that he knew the name of the witch and her home. That might actually be the name of the demon's home. He promised to leave his journal for me in the caves near Coffin Rock. Find those caves in the journal. Return to me with the name of the void, and I will help you conquer Hecidomix. The time for words has passed.
Amazing! Exactly as the witch hunter said. A lot of pages are missing, but a few show that he encountered some of the same symbols I've seen. I've got to get this back to his Gaia.
Did you find what you seek? Perhaps. I have the Witch Hunter's journal. Does this mean anything to you? What's the matter? What is it? When I was a child, my grandfather drew this picture in the sand and told a story. It's the story of Bleeding Boy. Long ago, the first tribe to enter these woods found Hekaitomix waiting. Hekaitomix stole one of their young, and on a dark path atop Coffin Rock, he sacrificed the boy, opening the boy's belly and spilling him across the rock. Because of Hekatomik's power, the boy never dies. He bleeds ceaselessly in agonizing pain. Hekatomik drinks the boy's blood and feeds on his pain. His tribe attempted to rescue him after discovering the secrets of the Twana. Many strong warriors and mighty shaman were taken by Hekatomik. They could not free their captive son. The entire tribe vanished without a trace. Some other stories say that a warrior shaman named Motewenda did survive and left a warning at the edge of these evil woods. This Othawenda is mentioned in some of the literature I found in the Beckettsville Library. Yes, he is well known in many tribes. It is said that Othawenda's magic ward remains at the edge of this forest and can only be seen by powerful shaman. With his entire tribe destroyed, Bleeding Boy was doomed to writhe in agony atop Coffin Rock forever. But I've been to Coffin Rock. I saw no one. Bleeding Boy lives in another path, the one mentioned in this journal. Disemboweled on Coffin Rock. Oh, why didn't I notice that before? There's a label here, Mr. Brownie. I thought Mary was talking about a pet, but this teddy bear is her missing, Mr. Brownie. I found this teddy bear at Coffin Rock, cut open as if it had been disemboweled. I saw Kyle Brody with it earlier, but now I know it originally belonged to Mary Brown. Who is this Mary Brown? Her name has been kept hidden from me. She's a ten-year-old girl from Burkittsville. Innocent, like Bleeding Boy. Hekaitomix intends to add Mary Brown to his eternal feast atop that accursed rock. Kyle plans to take Mary out to Coffin Rock and sacrifice her. I cannot guess Hekaitomix's intentions, but such a thing is possible. You must find and protect Mary Brown. I'll do my best. But about this journal, is there anything useful in it? You might be able to defeat Hekaitomix and free Bleeding Boy at the same time. How? Hekaitomix will not fall easily into a trap. But with the proper distraction, he may be vulnerable. If you were to free Bleeding Boy and carry him from Coffin Rock, Hekaitomix would surely follow. How do I find this Bleeding Boy? I can make the Twana for you from what is written in this journal. 
What happens once I rescue Bleeding Boy? Using Bleeding Boy as a distraction, you could lead Hecitomix through another portal, trapping him in the nameless void. I haven't come across anything that alludes to such a place. How will I find the path for this void? I know not. You may not be the one meant to find it. If it is intended, the path will find you. If the path is learned, return to me at once, and I will tell you what you must do. It's not as simple as the other Twana you have used. I will teach you the proper way to use it. Go now. You must return to town and protect Mary Brown at all costs. Should she fall victim to Hecitomix, his power will increase.
This is the journal the witch hunter said he'd leave in the caves under Coffin Rock. 